<clears throat> All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be reviewing some session or some hands from my uh, fan or supporter of the stream or YouTube channel, uh, DJ from Discord. He sent me uh, this video to review his session, Danian, Daniak is his name. Um, yeah, uh, if anybody wants to get session review, I'm going to do it. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, let's just jump into it and let's criticize him. So, 3-betting ace-9, I will be moving mouse so you, you, you would know, or maybe I will say just bottom right table, 3-betting ace-9 suited. Okay, this top left is replayer, okay. Good to know. Good flop for him. He's now ooh hitting a trips on the on the bottom right. He's betting one third, we can check bet. Here I would yeah, three quarters is fine. I don't know if it's if it would be good to over I I, I would like to overbet actually this hand. Or pot it at least, but it's fine. Mm, definitely checking uh, ace nine. I would like him to overbet ten six. I think it's a good spot, but then our opponent doesn't have much. Maybe when we know he's just c betting random shit, we can just one third to, so he would raise or whatever. All right, turn when check check, and now he's blocking. Yeah, I like his, that he's bluff catching. He's gonna get a lot of bluffs from hands like King Jack, Jacks maybe. Yeah, Jacks are too strong, I think. <clears throat> Ace Queen obvious 3 bet against 3.5x open. <clears throat> we got a call. I would like to see bet like half pot or one third here on this flop. Maybe half pot against recreational to get him fall like, but the uh, check back is fine without. I would like to check more with the, uh, with a club in in our hand. Now we kind of obligated to call, because there is like big recreational player opening to three point five x. Yeah, now we are in a deep shit hole. You know, the, now he can bluff us or whatever, but uh, it's played fine. Fives, yeah, that's the problem. Nothing to worry there about, it's fine. Uh, Ace to 3 is not good board for our range that much. We can uh, check it off the top right. Alright, we got pocket rockets. American Airlines. <coughs> Let's see what can we do with it. What we can do with it. Uh, Ace to 3, nines. Uh, kind of a light call. Don't love it, don't hate it. I mean, now nothing changed on the board, so we kind of have to continue. Force pretty loose open, we can just fold it. Uh, I wouldn't, I would just, now at this point with nines, I wouldn't like block bet. I would probably just wait and probably call with this line that he took. Um. I, f I really like bluff catching guys, you can really bluff catch your opponents on the stakes. So yeah. Oh, what a flop. So on these flops my generous... Okay, he called. Let's see what he had. Five, four. Wow, we got really lucky. So we made a really light call. Wow. Yeah, let's see that that's just why we want to continue there. We want to have more of... I don't know what the hell is that. We have to continue sometimes there, but yeah, we don't like it. Here on this board, I would bet 10%, 10 to 15%. It's like really used. Maybe we can just check it. Queen 10 is there. I would bet like 10% or check here on this flop. Really nice that he go for a check. I like it. And now we just have an easy call down. Wow, one of the worst turns in the deck. Now him, yeah, either check or we can start bluffing also. 
Okay, I like a bet here with pocket fives. Um, when we would have like seven five five four, we are more obligated to just check it. We're gonna face a lot of races, and we can improve more with a set than two pairs. So like it. Wow, beautiful turn. We can bet like seventy five. Oh, now we're facing a big bet. Wow, interesting. There's a lot of ace queens there. Whoo, beautiful rival. Just don't lead. Just let him let him bet. No, 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 bro. No, 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 no. That's not good. No, no, don't do it. Is it good? No. I hate it. I will just check and let him bluff. Yeah. He either have a check shit or. We got called here by. Oh, then I flash. Pretty good standard. I don't know, maybe if you want to bet like block bet or half pot, don't over bet jam on that river. I mean, to be fair, he's calling us with all his flushes. Maybe. But that was just fucking check there. There's no point in leading. Let him bluff, bro. Okay, what happened here? The dash check suited, sorry, I wasn't. Okay, so we're calling a squeeze with dash check. I would rather, rather, this is like better to 4 bet hand. So ace jack, we're gonna look it in the solver, this for 25 and now. So basically you can use it. So UTG open, hijack fold, cut off fold, it's a squeeze pot, so whatever. But button raise, small blind fold, big blind fold, and UTG raise. Yeah, you see? Ace jack, just, we just want to raise or fold, not a call. I think you are over calling, so ace queen is like the best calling hand here. Interesting that ace queen off is not a four bet. Maybe because of rake or whatever. I have no idea. In my range is on higher limits. I mean, I have fucking big rake as well on GG poker. So fuck that. Whatever. Not a call for sure. Okay, three jacks. Really nice. We also know that you called, okay, gonna skip it. Three big hands, to be fair. I, I would raise here, bro. With ace check, you have to raise. Three way, you got the nuts. I, uh, you got the nuts all the time. You just have to raise. You see, and now you are tough spot. I would just call down, obviously, but you, you're losing, you're losing. Yeah. You're losing action on the turn a lot of the time and you have the nuts, you want to protect your hand also. It would be sick value if you do it with a flush. I think like overpair on this limit is going to still call you. But I would like to just raise on the flop, I don't like the call. See what is what we will do. <coughs> Got a call. Times wow. Huh. Fine play by bold, I guess. Okay, with eights we either want to squeeze or fold, definitely not calling. Now, if we are... S definitely you don't... I don't know how much of a calling range you have on the small line, but definitely you don't want to have calling range on the small line. And if you have a calling range, which you should be like really, really good player, and it's really tough to have balanced calling range on the... on the small line. <laughs> Fuck, like, with two... All right, now you can also lead on this flop. This is like the donk flop for calling players. So if you're in big blind, you leading. This this flop is good for donk, okay? Just letting you know. Really good with our hands especially as well. We can either, I would really love to see you donk there. But first of all, just squeeze or fold the dates. I mean, 
I'm not, I understand your phys logic, but you have a donkey here, obviously, you're gonna hit set, you're gonna... You're gonna double up by hitting a set. You're gonna lose money overall on that. I'm, I'm doing that as well from time to time, but definitely not with eights, sevens. Maybe I start doing that with sixes to the deuces, but eights is just too strong to not raise or fall. Um, now he's betting like 75%, which is definitely terrible. Really bad board for him. And now, <laughs> yeah, the calling seems really bad. Yeah. I would like you to see, I would like you to raise, but now you all on most runouts are fucked. You could lead for one third, and yeah, now he's checking the donkey guy. We just don't know where we at, like, we are just, yeah, you just played it terribly. You could, like, if you would 3-bet, you get fault from this player and the uh, call from this player, then you just check-raise the flop, I mean, you are a little bit deeper. But still, like, really badly played, in my opinion. Like, you could check-raise uh, the flop as well, try to get it in, I don't know. But definitely seem like a really losing play there. Mm. Let's see how much we're raising against... Uh, it was a hijack, yeah, it was hijack open, so let's see. We are in the small line with eights, how much we're raising, even squeezing, obviously. We can say like he called on a button, so Utiki, Utiki fold, UTG fold, Kata fold, button call. Now we are in a small line with eights, uh, you see. Ooh, interesting, we have a small line calling range on these ranges, I didn't knew about this. Huh. So actually good call, obviously, because it's in these ranges, I don't know, I have these ranges for a really long time, I never lose, use those, like 25 NL ranges, to be honest, but I'm using it for the purpose of the video, because you are not playing on GG, but interesting that it's a calling range here, but you see a lot of squeezing, mostly you don't want to have calling range, it's pretty tough, I don't know what these ranges are, to be honest, I have them like for over a year, I don't even remember. Sorry for that, but in that case, good call, but uh, I would rather see you squeeze there. And then you can check raise the flop, really good. And to do it, I mean, you can get even stacks in there. <laughs> really good, like over pair and gut shot is really good. King 9 of fold, okay. And the really small sizing we can call there. Be profitable, maybe. Really nothing. I'm gonna be skipping a little bit. So Ace King with three betting from small blind. Jack's a little bit deeper. We might just call. Depends on the opponent. We can like yeah, like a four bet. Really, really nice. Really nice. Here with Ace King. Interesting board. We obviously can see bet. Or ah. now we have to just check call. Do we want to check raise on this flop? It would be interesting bluff for sure. If you would see bet, then we can definitely bluff turn and river if there come a club. So I wonder what you're gonna do. I would like to see some check raise there. To be honest, that would be sick. Really bad turn. Oof. We got a five bet. That's really tough. I would just fold the jacks um, on 50 or uh, 10 and out, to be honest. I really like your decision there. We're still winning against Ace Queen, bro, here on this board. But he has a lot of King Queens in his range, for sure. And now, a uh, really bad turn card. We're losing all, to all the full houses and we can't improve anymore. So if he bets, I would fold with Ace King there. Really bad turn card. He can. Problem is that you are not. Uh, yeah, he can just bluff now his ace queen because you are check raising all your sets. Yeah, or two pairs. So pretty badly played there. Ah, fine played. Good fault. Sorry. 
8 7 what you wanna do with it. Okay, gonna skip a little bit. He's king again. Tough hand to play for sure. Ooh. Okay. You know, three bet call. Alright. You can see bet, which is standard. Later in your poker career, if you want to improve as well, you should use a random number generator. I don't see you have it on the screen. Maybe you have it somewhere different. Let me know in the comment for sure if you are using it or not. But um, you want to have some frequencies on your place. Checks. Free bet. And. Uh, against this big of a uh, four bet it's not a standard sizing we wanna we wanna jam with checks i hope you will jam yeah bigger sizing with ace king we can also just check call oh we folding jacks there i mean that looks like to me just by exploitative play this looks like ace king I would just get it in with jacks to be honest. This is like not good uh, to fold jacks here. Let's see how your range looks like so you would know. <coughs> button bet, small blind fold, big blind raise, button raise, and big blind raise. Fuck what do I have? You fold, I check, fold, cut off, fold, button, bet, small line, fold, big line, raise, button, raise. Yeah, with checks, even with hands, with ace, queen, offs, we are calling a lot of hands. Oh, this button raising grain, sorry. And now big line, raise. Oh, yeah, wow. Do you see how your range should look like? I never seen these uh, ranges to be honest, so sorry for it. Like they're for 25 and all, I'm a little bit surprised by some of this. I would definitely not recommend like uh, this type of hands to be honest, because people are not playing that wide, to, so you can do it. But uh, definitely checks are like pure jam. There, you are losing money by not doing it. it just exploitatively, it looked like fucking ace king. Really bad 3 bet by him. So I don't like your fold there with checks. Definitely losing money. Here with Ace King, we might go for some checks on the turn and just check calling with King of Diamonds. And now we just have an easy jam, obviously. If you run into Ace Queen, so be it. We failed the snap call, so that's good, but he has Ace Queen. Nothing to do there. No problem, bro. Unlucky, huh? <laughs> they just poker. Maybe uh, it will be good, good decision to just check call on this river. I can see you doing that. If you would have like ace king of clubs. You are unblocking all the flush draws, it would be really good. I'm trying to learn you guys to bluff catch because it's a really good strategy against uh, bad players in 3 bad pots, 4 bad pots, just to bluff catch. Your red line will be shit, but you're gonna make money from it. That's just my opinion. You wanna bluff catch more in 3 bad, 4 bad pots and less in a uh, single red spot. Okay. okay, nice. Squeeze with. We can go even like six, seven big blinds with Ace Queen here, in my opinion. Uh, here we can bet big on this flop. I just get yeah, one third half pot. You're not sure what to do, eh? Yeah, but he just snap falls. So <sighs> oh, really interesting. So you called. What? Wait. Oh, so. Okay, what happened with Queen Jack hand? I believe that this guy Lim. Oh, okay, so that's fine. Again, this is a flop you can lead on. This is like good flop for donks, like 50% of the time even, 30% of the time. And obviously terrible 
bad by opponent, like we never want to use big size on this flop. And if he does that, he could have like check 10 and <laughs> we might even want to stack it, stack it in. It's uh, this really good bluffing end with the gut shot. We would like to have a backdoor flush, so again, pretty tough spot. We can just overfall these spots, to be honest. And with another player there, we have some better heads to call. It would be fine to like with backdoor flush to bluff this pot like raise in heads up pot. But calling seem like lightning money on fire, to be honest. <laughs> Not gonna lie, now you seem really strong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't even wanna see run out there. Sevens, we are falling seven. Nah, can do it. Beautiful flop. Let's see how much money you can make. Just don't raise the flop, hopefully. Okay. We can trap him as well, to be honest. We are capping ourselves, we are... We can trap here with sounds, that would be really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to implement this into my game. But obviously we can just bet with full house, probably really preferred. I like that you open ace 9 off there. Interesting turn, probably more favors our range. I like your one third. More than half pot I wouldn't go, but I would prefer one third. It's bringing straights, it's bringing flush, yeah. Come on, make a decision, bro. No, three colors is definitely not this size. Really don't like to do this size, uh, yeah, terrible sizing, to be honest. Really bad sizing. On a flush completing turn, we really don't want to. Even a straight completing turn, kinda. Not many jack eight there. Ooh, now you're losing to a jack, bro. A six. Wow, strong play. Oh, this card. We are like losing to a lot of hands. Fuck. Let's see. I mean, obviously, good jam. I don't see him having many. Uh, well, wow, aces. Yeah, really nice play by you. You just exploited the lead plate. I would like one third turn, but if you don't, you, sorry. Oh, sorry, buddy. If you know your pool and the players against that you're playing, really good. Uh, Ex um, what can I say? Exploitative play. I enjoy that. Really nice. Really nice. Oh no! Fuck my life. Cut my life into pieces. This is my. Oh, check. Sneaky with eights. I'll go for check race with eights. For protection. Lies. We're going to do it. Bigger, bigger, bigger than nine. Nine is small. <laughs> really small. Really small. We fold it. Nice. With eight, it's such a vulnerable hand. Bigger. Okay, we got eight. We are. I think it's fine. Yeah, you definitely need work on your preflop game with jacks there. <laughs> A little bit fold. Ace king, interesting flop. Just range bet, in my opinion. Eight, I would choose to bluff, to be honest, but with eight of heart, it's fine. Jesus, now I will just check all the river. 
let him bluff some hands if he wants to and you have to call kinda he had an ace, yeah, maybe you could go for a tiny value there to be honest one third size, he's gonna call you angry but he's going to call you jacks, okay bro let's see what's going to happen now huh? okay I'm gonna see with your range no? Yes? Okay. When he calls you, you just can give up on the hand. Really like to just rain C bet there. It's fine. GT world, you're gonna find a lot of checkbacks there. Hmm. Yeah, I would. Sorry. Wow. Blindly blind, I would just range bet King High. But we can also just call with jacks. Yeah. Okay, interesting. What already folded? Just bluffing. Nine eight. We can even limp behind. To be honest, maybe he misclicked. Okay, nothing interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, some hand with a eight. What happened with a eight? Oh. Okay, okay. Let me see. You called a flop with a eight. You're definitely overcalling in that case. Even preflop, I don't know how much it's called. Maybe it's a pure call, I don't know. So we open from IG UTG, I guess. Sorry, cut off. Was it cut off? Yeah, it was cut off, so let's see. Cut off opened. Button fault. Small blind fault. Big blind call. Yeah, it's eight of it's not a call. If you wanna use it, I don't not a call. As you can see it's fault and if you can just uh, three bet it or fault. But I uh, don't recommend that uh, you just can fold it. Definitely not a call. I didn't want to say because then it will be in the ranges and I would look stupid. Definitely an overcall which is stupid. That we got a call. You won. Don't call that hand next time. You're gonna make more money, believe me. Jack 7, we can maybe 3 bet it, but fine call. Queen Jack suited. So I guess you're playing 3 bet or fold strategy? It's good calling, calling hand on the button, but fine. Okay. Oh, I think two pair. Exceptional. Oh, did you bet with a standard? No check, king jack. Oh, wow, queen jack. Just call. <laughs> like it. Here with check seven, I would I would consider leading on this on because he's gonna check a lot of bet Azex. But it's is it seven? Seven? Seven, nine? I don't know. Okay, now you can even value bet that shit. You're kind of deep. So you can, you can go half pot. Probably a check in the GTO world. I don't expect him to... Okay, fine, whatever. But I don't expect him to check with a better hand there, to be honest. He's just leading into. I would like to raise. Uh, Dongs are very not often strong. So I would like to raise here with 6 5 suited. You're gonna get a lot of faults. Even against bigger sizing. Now it's just one threading. Again, I would consider raising. In your opinion. In your opinion, for my life. In your situation. And now just raise big. 
If you would raise on the flop, you can go all in. You can also go all in. <laughs> would be sick if you would do it. This size, like never bluffing. Ah, you could go all in, in my opinion. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I like that one. Come on. You know you're gonna get called by Ace, uh, Ace there. Really like that jam. On these limits, you just can't do it. Oh, unlucky. Now, easy call with King Queen, obviously. And just call it down. If we lose, we lose, but. Well, I, I, I. So there it's all the time. Hmm. Ooh, we're recording for 30 minutes already. Hope I said something smart for fuck's sake. Uh, interesting value bet there. Interesting value bet. If you get raised, you can just kill yourself. How much more we have? A uh, few minutes. I just skip through some interesting. I don't hate your play. You should be able to move up stakes. You're winning. As 300 big blinds, 150, 150. You should be able to go to 50 and all. You got some leagues, obviously. But these hands you played was fine. A7 is raised quite often, in my opinion. Let's see. You're gonna have to learn these hands like, to do this with. I think hijack fault, cut up bad. It was hijack, let's say hijack, whatever, cut up fault. But on race, you see a7 is a pure pure race. You're gonna have to learn this shit to be just better. Just use what I wanna teach you guys, just use GTO pre flop. You're gonna get, you're gonna win so much money just by blindly following the ranges. It's so easy. That's just the biggest thing you can make money from. I should work on that. Yeah, we hating our life with Ace Queen. I guess you didn't see that. It's fine. I will just see that range on that board. I believe you didn't. So you just check. You're thinking about three quarters. People usually in positions like to just one third or half pot. I wouldn't go over half pot in position, but it's up to you. You need to work on your frequencies in that case, you know. But it's really dry board, I would just bet range, you're gonna print money by doing that. Obviously the UTG range is uh, much better than other ranges, one of the most strongest one. But just range bet, not gonna... King Jack, uh, so many backdoor opportunities. Ace 10 would like to raise a lot pre flop. 3 bet against the open. Ace 10 of, I don't know why you're not folding already. Nice. I think like we over 3 betting, definitely not that often. We can 3 bet it like 20% of the time. Ooh, now we're thinking about being sneaky, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's look up at ranges first. It's a fish as well, obviously, you have him tagged, not full stack. Fishes pre flop when they are aggressive, we hate it usually. So I would like you to see just fold. But hijack bet, cut off fold, bottom fold, small line raise, and now I believe a stand suited is a fold. And it's like that. And even more against a fish opponent, which we are facing. So, don't like your decision to raise there. But, okay, we are doing it for the video. Yeah, it's not terrible. Uh, it's his fault. If it does go to jab into your face, you're gonna kill yourself. He fought it. Depends if you have notes on him and you know about him. Okay. When he's doing this with 6-7 or check 7 or king-queen, just go for it, that's fine. But not GTO. 
you can just do GTO ranges, preflop and then postflop you don't need to play GTO to be winning. Definitely don't have to play GTO on these stakes, you just can exploit that if you win money easily. Unless you are like some kind of YouTuber who is doing 10 and all challenge and can win fucking money. Yeah! That's all, I mean, you uh, you played great, you played fine on 10 and all player, I like it. I mean, you sh should move up in stakes if you have money for it, 25 and all, 15 and 16 and all on poker stars. Uh, some mistakes, obviously, uh, I don't know how often you're using RNG, but you, again, you are playing 10 and all. Use RNG for preflop, get better in your preflop game, you're gonna just print money, believe me and go higher, higher, and uh, I will get money from you. Mm. That's all for this video, guys. We are live for 35 minutes. Join my Discord, join my Twitch. If you want coaching from me as well, reach me out on Discord. If you want to get affiliate for Rakeback on poker sites, reach my Discord. And that's all, all she wrote. Enjoy your night, guys and just be fucking patient just be fucking patient guys bye